Welcome. I'm Travis with Linux Academy. In this lesson, we'll be talking about what you can expect out of this course, as well as the topics we'll be covering. Now, before we jump into Cloud Foundry, I want to go and talk about what are the problems that we're trying to solve. These are the problems we face as developers, as well as the problems that organizations face trying to get code out to production. Likewise, I want to talk about some of the solutions that we implement to go and solve those problems. Now, the bulk of the topics I'll be covering are going to prepare you for taking the Cloud Foundry Certified Developer Exam. The first one being Cloud Foundry Basics. In this section, we're going to talk about what is Cloud Foundry, what are the architectural components of Cloud Foundry, and how does it work when it comes to deploying out your application. We'll also talk about how to go and set up a Pivotal Cloud Foundry account, as well as installing the CLI. And then we're going to go through some of the CLI basics and some tricks and tips you can use to help yourself while you're taking the exam. The section will be also covering orgs, roles, and spaces. And finally, the section will conclude with talking about manifests. In the application management on Cloud Foundry, we'll talk about how to manage your applications. This includes starting, restarting, and restaging your application, how to run tasks, as well as the container lifecycle within Cloud Foundry. We'll also cover such topics as build packs, what they are and how you'll be using them, routes and domains, where we'll talk about how to go and set routes within Cloud Foundry, along with how to set up a custom domain. In Cloud Native Architectural Principles, we'll be talking about what it means to be cloud native, as well as the 12 factor app methodology. We'll also cover how to go and build applications for Cloud Foundry. Specifically, we'll be covering Node.js, Ruby, and Java. In the container management within Cloud Foundry section, we'll cover topics such as how to go and scale your application. And this will cover both horizontal and vertical scaling. In the working with services in Cloud Foundry section, we'll be talking about how to go and create backing services within Cloud Foundry, also how to go and create user provide services, what route services are, as well as service brokers. In Cloud Native Application Security, we'll be talking about container security, along with application security groups. This section will be touching on topics such as logging, monitoring and metrics, as well as actually how to troubleshoot a broken deploy, as well as problems with routes. This course is going to give you the skills you need to go out and get a job using Cloud Foundry. If you're already using Cloud Foundry currently, we're going to help you keep the job by going and getting that certification. Now, we do have some requirements for this course. You do need to know how to code, specifically Java, Node.js, or Ruby. Also, it will really help you out if you have a very good understanding of Git. And last but not least, you need to make sure that you have a good understanding of using the Linux command line. Okay, so that covers the topics we'll be talking about in this course. Go ahead and mark this lesson complete.